Okay, here's a quick and dirty video of uh, my motor here, as you can see. Eight coils, shaft 5 sixteenths, nothing special. There's a ruler set at one inch, uh, caliper set at one inch to give you an idea of the scale. Over here we've got your amps in bank A, frequency RPM, battery A, volts. In C1, this is C1, this is C2, this is battery uh, B, not labeled, but battery B, bank, uh, amps in bank B, and the volts, and this is the uh, tank, which I uh, can't let go to above 75 volts, so I've got two resistors here to short it out when it gets too high. And as you can see, there's nothing in cap 1. I'll uh, click these switches here. These two outside ones turn on the cap. This turns on the motor. Let's get it going the right way. This is my switch for adjustable RPM. So here it gives a frequency. You can see the amps. Here it is. Frequency 87 hertz. Molten C1. Cap is already up to 30 volts. <coughs> Not much here. Okay, let's turn this up now. This is our variable resistor. And here we go. Turning it up now. There we go. You can watch the RPM as I turn this up. So virtually no virtually no um, draw, extra draw, up to 110. You can probably hear the reed switches clicking away like crazy, it might cause a lot of static. These are reed switches on this side, Just timing this. Okay, let's take this up even higher. Get her to 160. 160 is 2400 RPM. There we go, 160. 2400 RPM. Now I'm going to load it. I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to load it with my hand. See my hand here? Ah. As you can see, no extra current draw. It's loaded down to 90 hertz. And it's hurting my hand, so I'm going to take it off. And again, no extra current draw. Focus this a bit. Nothing. Hardly anything. Again, up to one, 150, pick her up, 160, there we go, 2400 RPM, no load, and we've got uh, 53 volts in our cap, in our, in our tank cap, back EMF tank. And I didn't show this amp meter, but it doesn't show very much current draw. And that's about it.